In this video we're going to look at percentage change. Uh, now sometimes the questions will call it percentage change, it may also be called percentage profit, percentage gain, percentage loss, percentage increase, percentage decrease, but the method will stay the same no matter which way it's called. Okay. So this is how you find the percentage change of profit or gain or loss and so on. You do change divided by the original and then you times by 100. Okay. So to find the percentage change, you find the change, you divide it by the original, and you times 100. That would be the same for the profit, gain, loss, increase, decrease, and so on. Okay, so here's a typical question. A cat goes on a diet. As it starts to diet, it weighs 10 kilograms. After two weeks, it weighs 8.8 .8 kilograms. Calculate the percentage weight loss. Okay, so the formula is change divided by original times 100. So let's first of all calculate the change. So it was 10 kilograms, it's now 8.8 .8 kilograms. So if you do 10, subtract 8.8, .8, you get 1.2, okay? So the change is equal to 1.2, divided by, the original was 10 kilograms, so by 10, and then times by 100. So 1.2 divided by 10 is 0 0.12 times 100, and 0 0.12 times 100 is 12. So the percentage change is 12%, or the percentage weight loss is 12%. Okay, so here's another question. A shirt normally costs £50. In the sale it costs £42.50. Calculate the percentage discount. Okay, so let's first of all change. So it's 50, subtract 42.5. That equals 7.5. And then we have to divide the change by the original. So 7.5 divided by the original, which was 50, and then times 100. So, get your calculator, mark out that, so 7.5 divided by 50 times 100, 15%, so it's 15% is the percentage discount. Okay, so here's another exam question, Hannah's pay was £15,000, this year it's £18,000, what is the percentage increase? So remember it's change divided by original times 100, so the change is equal to 3,000. The original was 15,000. And then times by 100. Now you could do that on your calculator if you wish. You could do 3,000 divided by 15,000 times 100. And you get 20%. So the answer is 20%. Alternatively, on a non calculator test, I would recommend cancelling down this fraction. So divide by 1,000 to get rid of the zero, so you get 3 over 15 times 100. And then 3 over 15, well you could cancel that down to become 1 over 5 times 100. Whenever you're doing a, a fraction times 100, or like a fifth times 100, I would just work out what a fifth of 100 is, and that's 20. So the answer is 20%. Okay, so just be aware that sometimes you can get calculators, percentage change, increase, decrease questions on the non-calculator test, and you need to be able to work those out. Alternatively here, you could have done 1 divided by 5 using the bus shelter method, so 1 divided by 5, and then you would have got 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 times 100 is 20% as well.